Slow and work at the dock union. I'm surprised Toretto's not out in the street. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. Destroying the work permits hurt the workers, sure. But what it's really done is make Toretto and Greco look weak. You're supposed to have my back. Mr. Toretto sees you stoned again, and he's gonna deal with you. <laughs> I'd like to see that fat old fuck try. I was hired by old pal Michael fucking Greco. I'm untouchable. You know, accidents happen all the time, especially with Mr. Toretto. Now, you'd be wise to show some respect and do your fucking job. Can't find hard no hair of him.
Either you kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here... The dock union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. Today, I'm sure the file on Vito Skelet is about three feet thick, but that wasn't always the case. Hoover didn't even acknowledge the Mafia existed until 1957, so we weren't really keeping tabs on guys like Vittorio Scaletta till after that. Now, we know he served in World War II and did a six-year stint in prison for theft and illegal distribution of federal rations. It's, uh, it's generally believed he was a made member of the Falcone family in Empire Bay, though he's also a suspect in the death of Don Carlo Falcone. Now, if he did kill the Don, Vito must have had friends in high places because he was allowed to live. He was exiled, though, and forced to relocate down here, and the commission convinced Sal Marcano to make Vito a lieutenant and give him some rackets. Vito sent me. You're Connie, right? Yup. Connie DeMarco. Been keeping an eye on the smuggling business for Vito. Roy Thibodeau's in charge now, and it's a damn shit show. Why hasn't Greco bounced him yet? Oh, he bounced Roy right into a hole if he got to say so. Greco didn't pick Roy, and that puts a target on his back. Still, Roy's trying to sell the usual shit from out of Cuba. Cigars and rum, mostly. Hell, rumor has it they even selling medicine and shit to the Cubans. Sounds like Greco's scrambling. <laughs> Imagine Greco thought his Uncle Sal would give him a break, but no. So he's squeezing everyone, including Roy. 
business gets any worse, Roy's going to have to come down and see to it himself. Mine, Roy's got a few guys here and there. Might take some persuading, but I'll get him to talk. Hold of any Roy's guys yet? They're sure to talk if you, uh, ask just right.
Huh? You don't belong here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Here's a gun! 